Love hurts. Sorry, but it's true. Even in the best case scenarios, love has a torturous grip on our tiny little brains. And in the worst situations, love can lead to buckets of blood. There are plenty of horror stories where a solo act goes on a rampage. But what happens when two dangerous characters get together? Better buckle up, because there's nothing quite as scary as toxic love. Here are five ultimate killer couples of horror. Candyman and Helen. Candyman. History doesn't just repeat, it bleeds. Candyman and Helen is the most tragic love story on this list. With a violent history of racism ripping Daniel Robitaille away from his true love, by 1992, Candyman and Helen had some catching up to do. Spike and Drusilla, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The evil vampire duel invaded Sunnydale with violence on the brain. But their love was always center focus. This dynamic couple was never afraid to spill a little blood for love. While patience sometimes wanes in a centuries-long romance, we have got to give these two props for keeping the spark alive. So what if a few innocent lives had to be taken in the process? Chucky and Tiffany, the Chucky franchise. Quite possibly the quintessential killer couple of horror, Chucky and Tiffany really do take the cake. While their journey began with the very funny and equally violent Bride of Chucky, it didn't stop there. These plastic lovebirds went on to have a child in 2005's Seed of Chucky. The way this evil doll duel opened their hearts and minds to a non-binary child was totally unexpected. But, as Charles clarifies in the Chucky series, he's not a monster. Veronica and JD, Heathers. The love shared by Veronica and JD is complicated to say the least. While Veronica was never involved with the murders of her many atrocious friends, we can't help but suspect that she was subconsciously participating in these ghastly murders. Sometimes love gets you caught up in all sorts of things you never envisioned for yourself. I think it's safe to say, by the time Veronica is covered in soot and ash, she's a changed woman. That's it, we're breaking up. Julia and Frank, Hellraiser. Love is work, and no couple epitomizes it quite like Julia and Frank. While Julia is the real antagonist for the first two Hellraiser films, Pinhead gets all of the credit. Pinhead may be one of the scariest villains in horror history, but lovelorn Julia should get more acclaim for the pain and destruction caused in the first two films of the series. She is the underdog horror mastermind who deserves all of our attention. And that was the five ultimate killer couples of horror. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.